I'm SJ, welcome to my channel if you are new. I am an English mum of three, my husband is Swedish and today I am going to share with you top 10 Scandinavian baby boy names. All these names are ones I absolutely love, they're not the top 10 list from Sweden itself because Sweden is just super globalised now. Their top names are things like Liam, Lucas, Oliver, stuff that you'll see on the top name list around the world but one of the biggest trends in names this year has been those old traditional Swedish Scandinavian types of names because they are so manly and I think as the other trend is kind of towards gender neutral names or boy names for girls there's obviously going to be a big counter trend which is the most manly names you can get and these old Norse Viking meanings make these probably the manliest names on the planet <laughs> so I have got 10 that I hope you will absolutely love do give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this and I will be doing a new baby name video every single Monday so do hit subscribe to follow along so at number 10 is the name Anders. Anders is a brilliant name and it is so modern sounding, even though it's kind of the Swedish equivalent of the name Andrew, which is kind of an old fashioned name here in the UK. Anders makes it sound so much more hip and modern and it means manly or brave. So it couldn't be a more Swedish sounding kind of Viking name. I really like this name. It is really sort of short and sweet as well. So it hits a lot of top trends at the moment. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And number nine is a name that I absolutely love and that is the name Rasmus. How cool is that name? It is one of the coolest names I think you could ever find for a little boy. It's Scandinavian in origin but also has a Greek origin as well. So in Greek it comes more from the god of love around Erasmus and means beloved but in Scandinavia it has a different meaning altogether which is the spirit of the sea which is quite a mischievous spirit neither good nor bad just kind of very cheeky and I think that a little boy called Erasmus would absolutely sum that up. I think you would never forget his name. I think you would get tons of compliments on it let me know what you think and number eight is one of my son's middle names and my father-in-law's name which is the name boo I really like this name it obviously has a lot of origins and we hear beau quite a lot which means handsome but in Scandinavia the name boo means to live so basically where you live rather than life but it is such a classic name I actually think it's very very stylish my little boy's middle name is boo and he gets lots of compliments on it so obviously I really like it but I think it could be one of those that is quite unusual but very trendy for a little boy and number seven I had to include my husband's name <laughs> or he'd probably be upset but his name is Henrik I've always really really liked his name to be honest I think that Henry in the UK is quite popular at the moment it's around number 25 so there's going to be quite a few Henry's out there but I really like the K sound in boy names I just think it gives it that bit of edge the name Henrik means rules his household not sure <laughs> <laughs> as his wife whether that's true but it is a really good strong manly name he does get a bit of Hendrix he does get Heinrich quite a bit but I think it is really simple once you see it written down and I think it's a great name and super unusual over here but very popular and common over in Scandinavia and number six is a great name, which is the name Alvar. I had never heard this name, but V names are so, so popular at the moment. This is so unusual. It would be a brilliant one to choose. No one else would have it. And it's got a brilliant meaning, which is elf warrior. So it comes from an old Norse name, Alfar, but it's been changed to a more modern name. What do you think of that? I think it is so cool. Elf warrior is probably one of the best meanings I've ever heard, especially if you're into kind of legends and kind of sci-fi and fantasy. I bet loads of dads would really really like this name. Next up is a name you've probably heard but you might not know what it means which is the name Bjorn. So a lot of us have those baby Bjorn carriers which is Swedish but Bjorn actually means bear so I think it is so nice you've got those little baby bear cub <laughs> meanings for it. The name bear is actually getting quite popular isn't it in the UK now. I know a few girls who've called their babies bear or used it as a middle name and Bjorn is a really soft and sweet way of capturing that in a name. If you like literary names a great Swedish name which I really like and did actually consider for my little boys is the name Emil. 
So Emil is a very popular Scandinavian name from a book by Astrid Lindgren, who is their kind of Enid Blyton. She wrote Pippi Longstocking and all those types of books. So Emil is this little blonde mischievous naughty boy who lives in small land in Sweden. He is really iconic over there and the name I think is just a really sweet little bit cheeky name but quite unusual as well i think it's got really nice sound to it it's very sort of soft and gentle but those short and sweet names are so so popular at number three is a bit of a vintage scandinavian name that is really really cool and that is the name nils i really like this i've always quite liked nile as a kind of different name and i really like nils with the s on the end it is a bit of a vintage name because it was most popular over in scandinavia back in the 1930s so it's got that kind of throwback to it which is really really cool and it's got a great meaning which is people's champion i think that in 2017 so many more names are going to start coming through that are all about being the people's warrior and the people champion because that's just what this generation is kind of all about it is short and sweet i think it would make a really nice sibling name to a noah noah and nils sounds so cute together and noah as we know is hugely popular at the moment and number two is the name olanda I really like it and it actually means Sweden. It's super unusual, I don't think it is used as a name at all often in Sweden, but it is one that I found on the list and I really like it. Probably because I've always quite liked the name Orlando, like Orlando Bloom, but it kind of by itself sounds a bit like the place in America. But Olanda is so unusual and different, I really really think it is so cool. And it's a bit like Oliver, which is so widely used now, if you love the name Oliver but looking for something a bit different, Olanda is a mega good option for you, mega good. <laughs> Let me know what you think of it, I really like it. I kind of wish I'd known this, I could have used this name. I think I could see myself with little Olander. And at number one is the name Isaac. Isaac obviously is used quite widely because it's originally a Hebrew name. Hebrew names are mega popular, as you know at the moment, with like Noah, Ezra, for girls, things like Delilah, all those names are having a huge boom. And I think Isaac, spelt like this in the Scandinavian way, is so punchy and so edgy. I really, really like it. And in Scandinavian, it means and in Scandinavian it means he will laugh so laughter is obviously so the thing that about babies that is so addictive and gorgeous and so it's a super super cool name I hope you like this list of Scandinavian boy names do let me know in the comments below and if you have any other ideas for baby name videos let me know as I said there'll be a new one every single Monday on my channel I do love baby names check out the previous ones if you love baby names as much as me or you're looking to name a little one congratulations and I will see you all in my next video bye guys